This is part one of a video series where I will unbox, build, and fire up a fully self-contained solid-state high-frequency LDMOS linear power amplifier designed and made with parts supplied by KM3KM. The heart of this amplifier is the NXP MRF1K50H integrated circuit that is rated at up to 1500 watts depending upon drive and mode. The amplifier has advanced automatic band switching and excessive SWR protection of the output power transistor. The advanced amplifier design is unique in that it uses the Nexteon human machine interface to provide extensive feedback of parametrics to the operator of the amplifier. Today I'm going to unbox components I obtained from the designer of the amp KM3KM. On KM3KM's website are parts for experimenters to purchase and build one of these amplifiers. KM3KM offers a wide variety of options for the builder, ranging from bare printed circuit boards to assembled and tested sub-assemblies. Let's take a look at some of the components that we have here. We have the antenna switch. We have the RF power unit. We have the low pass filter. We have the Arduino based controller. All these parts are available from KM3KM's website. Here is the page with the piece parts and everything is available from bare printed circuit boards to completed and tested sub-assemblies. This is what the box looks like when it shows up from KM3KM. Everything looks like it's pretty well packaged. Let's open up this box and see what's inside. Okay, let's see what we got here. Looks like we have a box in a box. So let's get this out first. Let's see what we got. Put this over here. This appears to be the, the case next. Boy, that's in there pretty heavy. Let's get this out of here. Okay, we got a USB drive here, so this contains the instructions as well as firmware for the device. We got another box here. I'm guessing that's the power supply. Well, we'll find out in a minute. Looks like it's very well packaged to keep everything from getting damaged. This is pretty heavy. Alright, so that's everything that was in the box. We'll move in and take a closer look. Okay, let's open up this box, which I'm guessing is the power supply. Looks like it's very well packaged. And it is, in fact, the switching power supply. Looks like a very nice unit. And we will put this aside and examine that closer later. Okay, on to the next box. Okay, we have a wide assortment of things here. Interconnect cables. Interconnect cables with toroids. The switches. The interconnect RF cables. Hardware. SO239s. Power sockets. Fans, a 
more fans. And what do we got here? Try to get away from me. So a lot of uh, cabinet hardware and accessories are in this uh, this box. Let's see if we can get this open without killing ourselves. I must say everything is very well packaged. Okay, these may be static sensitive devices in here, so we will open those later on the anti-static pad. Next, let's move on to the case and see what we have there. Okay, next we have the case. Everything is very well wrapped. I'm going to keep all sharp objects away from this. Here's the case. Truly a thing of beauty. A remarkable design. Okay, we're going to take the case cover off and see what we have inside here. Very carefully we'll remove that. Very nice. There's the power assembly. There's our display. Let's take a look at that. Oh. The control board. There's the control board, anti static packaged. There's the low pass filter. Now that we've got everything unboxed, let's take a look at everything that KM3KM has sent us. First of all, we have this USB stick, and on that is a full operation guide. For the amplifier. It's very detailed. Goes through all those items. We also have a complete assembly guide. How to put the amplifier together step by step with all the parts that you receive from KM3KM. So we have all the cables, all the interconnect cables, switches, hardware, more hardware. We've got all the fans. We've got rails, standoffs. Here's the exterior of the beautifully designed case that all of the components fit into. We've got the high quality telecom type switching power supply. We've got the antenna switchboard, the Nexteon display, the Arduino based controller. There is the massive RF power amplifier with a huge, ginormous heatsink assembly. And there we have the low pass filter board shielded. And here's a front look at the case, beautifully designed case. Here's a side view of it. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to follow his assembly directions step by step on video and put this thing together.